Hey guys, so we're down the road here at my neighbor's barn where they let me set up the sawmill. Let's come and check it out. So this is the Norwood Lumbermate 30 LM30. Um, I didn't do a how-to video on this because I didn't have the time, nor am I an expert at setting up sawmills. So what I did is I took clips as I went with the build uh, just to show the quality um, and the basic steps on how to uh, assemble this sawmill. So I think it'll be a great video for people starting off uh, looking into sawmills, looking into Norwood, into this model specifically. Uh, it'll be a good video for you guys to check this sawmill out. So I have the Honda motor, no electric start, so there'll be no battery installation in this. Uh, but as I mentioned, this is not a how-to video, so make sure you go from the start of your manual and check everything out. Uh, first thing is to check all your boxes to make sure you have all your parts. This plastic blade cover uh, was actually missing, so we had to notify Norwood and they sent us this whole cover back out. So make sure you check your boxes, that way nothing holds you up. Uh, start off in your manual from the beginning. We're going to jump right to the bed uh, section with this build, as I already looked through everything else out already, um, and let's get going on this. I highly recommend using air tools or power tools to assemble this uh, this bed as there's a lot of bolts you're going to be tightening down. I did not have any power um, so I'm doing this by hand but it will save you a lot of time if you use power tools. Just make sure not to over torque the bolts. It does mention in the beginning of the manual to assemble the sawmill on a clean, flat, and level floor, but I don't think they stress that enough as I quickly realized uh, this old concrete slab in the barn is going to make uh, more headaches for me in the future when I put it on its base and try to level out the sawmill there. So uh, definitely make sure you are on a very flat surface when assembling this sawmill. With the use of shims and pulling a string line across the bed rails, we're going to straighten out the rails as shown in the manual. Um, I would definitely recommend if you can afford it to get the trailer package. Uh, that's going to uh, resolve a lot of the issues of having the bed flat and straight. Um, in my case, I didn't have the extra funds to get the trailer package, but if you can, I would highly recommend that option. Again, this is where the uh, use of air or power tools become in huge handy. Uh, it took me a lot of time to do all the tightening by hand.
this is where the fun begins. I left out a lot of the assembly of all the small parts. Um, there was a lot of bolting down small pieces to get the carriage assembly set up. I wish I had gotten a shot of me setting this up onto the bed as it was pretty difficult with one person and two people definitely would have been handy. I went with the Honda motor because this is a commercial series Honda motor and I also know that uh, they're very reliable and just a really good motor and I think that they're a better option than the other motors uh, available. However, if you do want electric start, I do not believe they offer the option for electric start with the Honda motor, so that's something to consider as well.
this is to show the basic routing of the throttle cable. Uh, make sure the throttle cable does not touch the motor shaft uh, in between the cover and the motor there. Uh, if it's rubbing on the shaft, it will wear out the cable and damage it so it will not work properly. Getting the blade to track correctly was a little tricky for me at first, but just read the manual, take your time, and be patient, and just make sure the tracking is where it should be. Do not expect to get the blade tracking perfect on your first shot. It will take many attempts, and as I mentioned, just be patient with it. I was actually looking for this water on off switch for quite a while and I found it in a bag uh, with other parts where it wasn't supposed to be so if you can't find a part make sure to check other boxes or bags because they might be mixed in with those. I know there's going to be a lot of fine tuning and adjustments made once it's set up on its base but I'm just getting it generally um, tuned up right now and we'll do it again once I get it set on its base. Well here it is guys, I got it all set up and completed for now. Uh, I'm going to have to break the bed down in half and get it brought to its home on our land where I'm going to have posts in the ground and make a base for it. Uh, but right now it's complete. Uh, I think it looks really good so far. Only concerns I have is I wasn't expecting the bed frame to be able to move as much as it can. It can flex uh, when it's not on a base. so. I'm a little bit worried about getting it all fine-tuned and uh, straightened and leveled out. But other than that, I'm very excited to use it and uh, going to get working on the base so I can get it brought to the land and start cutting. So stay tuned. This is the start of the sawmill videos and hopefully I'll be posting some more uh, coming soon. So make sure to subscribe and follow our page. Uh, there's going to be a lot of exciting things coming on here, and uh, the sawmill will be one of them. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. This is a reminder in the manual to make sure you add the correct oil and correct amount of oil before running it, and to also grease the band wheel axles and other grease fittings that are on the sawmill. So make sure to finish off reading the manual. There's a lot of useful information in here uh, that you do not want to miss out on. A log table is very important for loading the logs, so make sure to read this section in the manual um, and also get everything prepared before you start using your sawmill.